entitled people. You see those people eh, that feel that we actually accompanied them to this earth. You see all these entitled people that feel that they are doing us a favor for being our friends or for knowing us. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this, this is laughable. <laughs> anyway, I have a story, a hot gist. In short, I have a solution to you people's suko 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 problem. I know you people have a problem. I have a solution. So this particular episode was instigated by one lovely young lady that I follow on Instagram. She reminds me so much of myself because I used to be as slim as she is and she's so pretty. Anyway, her name is Ezine Akudo. So she posted something on her IG story. Wait, let me get my phone. Guys, where is my phone? Okay, I think my phone is here. So she posted this that says, uh, uh -uh. okay, she said, if you squat with person, Try to they buy one or two things put for house. And then somebody responded, I think it's, it's a Twitter exchange. And somebody responded and said, Now squat, I can't squat too. Nobody say, Now me, they rent house. <laughs> Honestly, it's funny. But the truth is, I wanted to address the mindset behind this, you know, this whole exchange. So you're squatting someone, you're doing someone a favor. The point is that you, for you to squat the person does not necessarily mean you're waiting for accolade or you're demanding or insisting that the person must actually buy one or two things and put for house, like the, the tweeter said. But I mean, common sense. Anyway, they say common sense is not common. So common sense is that you should know that you should do one or two things in the house. It reminded me about 10, 15 years ago, you know, I was living in Lagos. And a friend of mine actually moved in Lagos also. She got a job and uh, she didn't have an ap apartment where to stay. And she begged me. And of course, I didn't even see it as a big deal. Anyway, coming from Enugu now, innocent, nice, normal girl. I never tear eye for Lagos. So I was still large. My heart was, sorry, my heart was still large. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not large. My heart actually was still large. And I'm using the word was. Because <laughs> what I did for that girl, I don't think I can do it again. Anyway, back to my story. This girl actually begged to squat with me and I agreed. And she squatted for eight months, guys. Eight full months of no pay. Nothing. And honestly, I was not really thinking in that direction that she should pay. My rent was already paid. So, ah, she's not supposed to pay. Besides, she's my friend. My childhood friend from the East. What more can I do for her? She's in a city. She doesn't have an apartment. Come on, I have a spare room, so you can come and stay, not a biggie. <laughs> there are plenty things this girl did, but there are two particular examples I want to cite. One, she finished using the restroom and she did number two. Yeah? And she kind of cleaned up, but didn't really wash the commode. And this is me going in, and I'm like, oh, you didn't really clean up well. And she said to me, Oh, it's messy. Could you help me? <laughs> Who, is she doing? Who is she doing that one for? She's telling me. Oh, it's so messy. Oh, I can't clean up. Could you help me? And she's speaking for now on top of it for me in my house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus is Lord. Number two. This girl would always wake up in the morning and she's like, oh my God, would you... I couldn't even sleep well because they took the light. I mean, why are you not living in a full service apartment where they can always put on the light whenever they take the light? Oh my God, I didn't sleep well. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is somebody that cannot pay. You are laughing. You guys are laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. You guys are laughing. Why are you laughing? Is it funny? It's not funny. It's annoying. Anyway, that particular day was the day I sent her packing. I couldn't take it no more. Like, the mindset of, you know, the gods even. How do they say it in Instagram? How do they say it? How do they say it? It is the gods for me. It is the gods for me. Hey! Oh my Lord Jesus. That was the day I sent her packing. And again, the worst of all is that other, other of our friends, yeah, our common friends, now started calling me. Oh, what you did was not nice. She called and she was crying because she said she asked that you give her a week or a month to get her house. And you said, no, she was, she's supposed to leave that day. You know, that was too harsh with you. You know you, eh, sometimes you can be too harsh. And I said to them, where is she? And they said, I think she checked into a hotel. I said, why didn't you house her? Why didn't you house her for that one month or one week that she asked of me? Why didn't you do that? 
they were looking at me. You didn't do that. You felt what I did was wrong, but you didn't offer to give her your place to, to crash for a month or for a week. And you had the guts also to call me to tell me stuff. <laughs> Why didn't you pick her up? She was homeless, right? Okay. So I had done good by housing her for eight months. And she needs only one month or even one week to get her own apartment. And she called you crying and you didn't help her. But you had the guts to call my phone and tell me that what I did was wrong. Aren't you mad? Are you mama? Are you mama? <laughs> I see, I'm not just trying to laugh because this is not funny. This is annoying. This is supposed to be a serious video. Okay, would you take it back? <sighs> Guys, the essence of this video is to tell you that when you meet all those entitled people, it could even be a sibling, it could even be a husband, it could even be a child, it could even be a parent, it could be a colleague, it could be your gardener, it could be, even sometimes domestic staff could be entitled. Your nanny could feel that if she decides to go, you won't be able to take care of your home. Whatever, whoever it is, don't let anybody steal your shine. Don't let anybody make you think that you're wicked for doing the right thing. Don't make anybody make you uncomfortable for trying to learn a helping hand. And don't get choked in the process of being nice. Like they will say, pour from a full cup. I did, I said some, something like that in my previous video. Guys, I will link it here, self-love. Please pour from a full cup. There's another previous video also, selfish. Yeah, it's titled selfish. I would also link it. The whole thing is, being selfish is really not bad. It depends on what you mean or what you understand selfish to be. Yeah? So, most times, cater for yourself. Protect your space. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself first before giving others. And give people that deserve to be given. And when I say deserve, I don't mean people that are maybe poor per se, but I mean people that would appreciate or that shown appreciation for what you're doing for them or what you intend to do for them or what you said that you would go do for them and when you do it you should be able to get that kind of appreciation from them not necessarily that you're doing it because you're waiting for them to say thank you but you know you would feel the energy you feel the vibe like i always say we're energies i say this all the time you will feel the vibe when you know that somebody really appreciates what you're doing no matter how small it is and if you feel the person is entitled teach them a lesson by shutting off Shutting up, shutting down, shutting, shutting what? Uh, all the shots. <laughs> By all the shots. Cut them off. You know, you don't deserve to make anybody make you feel bad for being nice. As I'm telling you, this story is still annoying me, but it happened like 15, 20 years ago. That easiness post actually instigated something in me, and I thought I was going to do this. Anyway. Till next time, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification button so you will know when we release new videos. Like, share, and um, till next time, hang in there. The very best is next. Ciao, ciao. Love you. Mwah.